Hey everybody, Arnaldo Wofferman here of Wolf Mix Video Manuals. Super excited about this controller. Today's video, we're just gonna talk about connecting it to the W Tools, which is the accompanying app. This is a standalone unit, but the app does allow you to do quite a few different things, including access to the LS Cloud, update profiles, and back up your shows, and so much more. So let's go ahead and get you all set up. First thing you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and plug this puppy in. Boop. And there it is. Now I may ask you if you want to go ahead and update the firmware or whatnot, uh, which in this case I've already done, so we are good to go. Let's take a look at the My Wolf screen. The first one is just a screen that shows the particular controller that is connected. Here you can select whether you want to do Ableton or OS2L. Now, what OS2L is, it's a protocol that Nicolati has been working on. It allows you, for example, to connect CompuShow to Virtual DJ and not only send the beats, but even have certain songs trigger uh, light shows or scenes and cues, and it's pretty darn cool how it works. Uh, here with Ableton Link, you can connect it, and it'll tell you how many peers are available, etc. Uh, so basically, if you're going to do any kind of link, whether it's Ableton or OS2L, it needs to have the app open. So this controller is not standalone when it comes to the beat sync you need to have this particular app open next we have your dmx output this has four xlr ports coming out of it you've got a couple five pin a couple three pin obviously you can get a three pin to five pin or vice versa what you will see is that you're able to easily change it around if you want access to two additional universes they are 99 dollars each for a total of four universes there is no ArtNet presently available out of this unit. Next, we have the 3D link, which I've already purchased mine, so I can show you the visualizer. The visualizer itself is free, but to connect this to the visualizer, there's a small charge for that, absolutely worth it. And then W-Link allows you to control the Wolf Mix to another Wolf Mix. This would allow two people to control the same light show. You could have a front of house, back of house unit. Just real powerful what you can do with two of these together. Next, we go to our projects. You can see here that there's already some that I've already backed up. When you right click on it, you can either sync it, you can just delete it, or you can open it with LS Cloud. You may ask, what is LS Cloud? Let's switch windows for a second. LS Cloud allows you to access all of your lighting soft or Nicolati devices. In this case, I just have my Wolfmix W1 set up to my cloud right now. Uh, however, when you click on it, you can do different things. You can name it if you need to. The activity just shows you what has been done to your Wolf Mix. Next, we have the profile. So uh, we'll cover that in a second. Actually, let's go ahead and upload a profile. Now, profiles for this are using the SSL2 format, which you may know from my DMX, CompuShow, Sunlight Suite 2, ESA, Light Rider, all the different softwares that Nicolati makes. They all use the same profile brand. You can make your own if you need to, or you can upload it. In this case, let's just go ahead and upload it here. We'll have a zoom par. And we can select a brand form. Just gonna put generic under for now. And there it is. Super easy to upload profiles. The next one is just your files. This is basically the files that I've already synced with my projects and I can transfer them to other people if I need to. This particular window takes me to the profile builder. She's going to go ahead and allow that information for just a second. That's right. The profile builder now allows you to build profiles without having to download the software. You can now here's what is is really important about LS Cloud, because now I can make a profile and not only send it to my Wolf Mix, but I can also send it to Lightwriter or my DMX Go, depending on which version distribution you are using, because again, it's using those same files. So I can download it. Uh, I use CompuShow and I can use those files for that as well. So let's go back here to the app. So again, that's pretty much it on that side there. Next, we're gonna go to the fixtures. You can see all the fixtures here. There's about 3,500 fixtures so far. However, let's say my, the one I needed wasn't there. So I just go into cloud. I can resync it if I need to. And now I can sync it. And now it's available on my controller. Next, we're going to go to your settings. Settings is pretty obvious. You can update your firmware, erase your fixtures, unlock a factory resetter, reset W tools, uh, and then help is basically just a little library of help files. It does show that it's obviously connected and that right now it's 120 BPMs per minute. That is how apparently it's picking up my voice. Probably from all these pops because I can't find my freaking windscreen. Okay. So that is pretty much the W tools. Very easy to access. Now, 
if we take a look here at the actual unit itself, let's take a look and see what we've got with Wolfmix. First, we have a beautiful, bright video screen. We've got our main shortcuts. You've got home, your color effects, which allows you to select your fixture and apply color effects or, you know, basically what the program is, the scene. This is basically if you combine ADJs, any one with Light Rider, that's what you have, just with a lot more control in both of them. You have your movement effects and your beam effects. Now we've got static colors here. So we've got yellow, lime, cyan, magenta, pink, red, yellow, green, blue, white. Now I can also select here and we'll, we'll kind of go over that in just a bit about how that works. We also have our positions, which we don't have any moving heads right now. Your gobos, you can also do a live edit if you need it to. So for example, and again, we'll cover that here, but I can select my particular RGB or this part light and then change it as I need to. Again, we'll cover that in a bit again. <laughs> uh, so let's go back to our color here. On the right hand side, we've got BPM, but if I shift and click that, it takes us to our groups. Now, the next one is the wolf mix. And if I hold it, it's static with the shift. Otherwise, it's a flash. Same thing with strobe, it's a flash, unless I hold it with the shift, and now it's static or latch. Blinder, same thing. We've got speed function here. And real quick, notice here with the speed, I can just use my little parameter control or little shortcut ones. Blackout. Blackout is not a flash, it's a latch. However, I can also change the release here and tell it how many seconds I want it to go for. So in this case, I'm going to go blackout, one second, done. One, two, three, four, five, and it lets go of the blackout. Or you can just have it on flash. And again, notice these little shortcuts right here. Sweet. And same thing with the smoke. You can have it flash, timer. In this case, we're just going to have it on toggle. Notice the same thing with the strobe. I can have it just toggle, so I don't have to use a shift key. I can have it just a few seconds each. And there it goes. Easy. Preset allows you to access presets that you're able to record. And you can even have your hold, your fade from one to the other. Uh, you have your pages and there are five pages for a total of 60 presets that are built into memory. And that's it. That is the Wolf Mix. Super easy to get around. Now in the next videos, we're going to talk about some very basic 101 stuff. And yeah, I'm excited, really. If you guys have any questions, comments, etc., please be sure to let me know. If you're watching this before summer 2021 and you want to know where you can buy one, they're not available yet but soon enough they will. So watch these videos, make yourself a pro so you are ready to go the moment that this guy hits the market. Thanks so much for watching. Good night and God bless.